Hello and welcome to the Axicon Self-Help Guides. Today I'm just going to show you how to add a job reference to your barcode verification process. First of all we just uh, open the, the Axicon PC software and then what we'll need to do is select options and then setup. Now once we've got the setup box we'll just need to head on to the plugins tab and uh, on the left hand side is a list of all the plugins we'll just need to find job ref which is right here so we we'll just tick this box and then we will need to configure this so once it's highlighted we we'll press configure and uh, we we'll just need to set this up now the first thing it asks is do we want a default number or reference to be in there uh, if you don't wish to have a default number then just click OK and leave it blank and now the software is asking us if we want the job reference to show up on every scan for now I'll just say yes and I'll come back to when we say no we'll just click OK out of the uh, setup box and now we'll just verify a barcode and uh, as you can see the job reference box has appeared so if I'm just going to put a reference in we'll click OK and uh, I'll just finish the uh, verification and that's it the job reference has been added as you can see the list of plugins on the tab on the summary screen we click job reference and there is the uh, job reference that I entered now let's go back into the uh, job reference settings and set it up so we don't want it to appear in every single scan so we'll just go back into the setup so it's options setup and then the plugins tab which is already on and it highlight the job reference plugin and press configure enter G default job reference again we don't want this this time so we'll press leave it blank press OK now do we want it on every single scan we'll say no and then we'll hit OK then we'll clear this last scan and then we'll scan another barcode now as you can see it's not asked me for a job reference number it's still got the barcode here and on a job reference plugin it's got nothing so I, for example I didn't want it on this barcode I'll clear that and then on the next barcode I do want a job reference number so we we'll click on the job reference tab and then we'll click more info and it's asking us to enter a job reference we'll hit OK and then we can finish our verification and there we are we have a job reference on a chosen barcode the job reference will appear on a printed report and will also be saved along with a scan so it can be viewed at a later date this means that you'll have full traceability of the scan I hope that's been a help to you and if you have any questions then please contact us at support at axicon.com.